Hello everyone, thank you for joining again. My name is Taylor and today I'm going to teach you about pandas in Python. Pandas is extremely useful whenever you have time series data or if you just want to read and write to an Excel document. So let's first install the module. We'll open up a terminal or PowerShell if you're in Windows and then we will type Python space dash m space v e n v to create a virtual environment space and then the name of our virtual environment we'll name it pandas for now now that we have created the virtual environment if you're in windows all you have to do is push period forward slash and then the name of the virtual environment slash source slash activate but if you're in Mac or Linux, you'll say source space pandas, which is the name of our virtual environments, forward slash, bin, forward slash, activate, and hit enter. Now we are in the pandas virtual environment, so let's go ahead and say pip install pandas, and hit enter. This will download the pandas module. Okay, if all goes well, you should see a screen like this that says it successfully installed. So let's go ahead and close this terminal. And then, now we're back into our text editor. As you can see here, I've already created a file called panda underscore read dot py. I also have an example Excel document here that has name and then some names here. So let's close this. And now we will import the pandas module by saying import pandas as pd. I like to use pd as the variable, but you could use whatever you'd like. Now hit enter twice, and now we can say if name double equals main add a colon. So this is our main function. And now we will use pandas to read in the Excel document I showed you earlier. First, we need to give it a variable name. So we'll say Excel underscore document is equal to pd dot read underscore Excel open and close parentheses in those parentheses. Let's open and close quotations. We will send in the Excel document now. So we will say names dot xlsx. And if you're using Kate, you'll have a terminal down here and we need to activate the pandas virtual environment in this terminal. So the way we can do that is by saying source dot dot forward slash pandas slash bin slash activate and hit enter. OK, let's clear the screen and we'll try to run this program. So we'll say Python space pandas underscore read. As you can see, we have a dependency issue. We need to install this module here. So all we have to do is say pip install and then the name of this module and hit enter. OK, now that that's installed, let's clear the screen. And now let's rerun the program. As you can see, there are no errors. And now what we can do is display this Excel document. So let's go ahead and say print Excel underscore document. And now let's go back down to the terminal and rerun the program. As you can see, here's the heading, which is name. And then here are the subsequent names under the name column. An important thing to note is that pandas treats the Excel document as a dictionary. So we can go into our print statement, open and close brackets, and in those brackets, open and close quotations. In those quotations, we'll send in the column name. For this instance, it is name, and let's save this and rerun the program. As you can see, it returns all this here. So this is how you read into an Excel document with pandas. What if we wanted to write to an Excel document? Well, we can with a to Excel function. Let me show you now. So if we hit enter a few times, first what we want to do is create a dictionary. So we'll say age is equal to open and close curly braces and we'll give this a key, add a colon, and then open and close brackets. In those brackets, we'll send in a number. So we'll say 25. 
Let's save this. Now let's convert this dictionary into a pandas data frame. So now we will give this a variable name called PDF for pandas data frame equals PD dot data frame dot from underscore dict open and close parentheses in those parentheses we'll send in age now hit enter a few times and now we can convert the Python dictionary into the Excel document using the pandas data frame we can say PDF dot to underscore Excel open and close parentheses in those parentheses open and close quotations in those quotations we want to send in and specify a file name so we'll call this age.xlsx add a comma after the quotations and let's add index equals false so what this is saying is do not include the 0 1 2 3 4 or however many indexes you have in your dictionary only include what is important such as the column name and values so now let's save this and let's rerun the program as you can see there are no errors and a new document should have been made called age.xlsx let's see in the front as you can see here it is let's open it up and here we see age and 25 I hope this has helped you understand how powerful pandas can be and how to use it to read and write Excel documents. Thank you all for joining. I invite you to subscribe and I hope to see you next time.